Anyway, there, there, we're not saying that the internet, there's no such thing as hard times. But anyway, there, sometimes there are such things as hard times. I make my videos and I get up here and I relax and I have fun. I think, I think a lot of people like my videos because I seem to be rather laid back. <laughs> like, like Rhiannon said, <laughs> kind of like Mr. Rogers. I, th I think that's cute. I like that. This, this, I take that as a compliment. Because I try to be relaxed when I make my videos. I just kick back and I don't I don't that stiff about things and I just talk about things. But I was just thinking about designer inferiority. And this whole concept of natural versus unnatural and how this stuff all links together. What's unnatural? Is homosexuality unnatural? Is mixed race couples unnatural? You know what? I think what most people think of as unnatural are things that they personally feel uncomfortable with. You know, I think about David Hume and what he said about uh, what we think of as good or bad. Our whole sense of morality, so to speak. And morality is always supposed to be based on this notion of what's natural. The moral thing is the natural thing. It's what's supposed to be. But I think what we really think of as being natural or good or right is really what we feel comfortable with. And what we feel comfortable with is really a matter of training, a matter of conditioning. If we're conditioned to see something a certain way, we feel comfortable with it. If we encounter something that we weren't conditioned to do or trained to do, we feel uncomfortable. It's just that simple. It's that simple. I remember when I was in France and I went to one of these internet cafes. This is an email. It was the first time I ever did that, you know, in another country. Sent an email to somebody else back in the States. Sitting down at a typewriter and I'm about to type. And I'm just, you know, not typewriter, but the keyboard. And I'm typing and everything is okay except for a few letters. They're not in the exact same place that they are on the keyboards here in the states and it kind of threw me off so I had to be conscious of the fact that I don't remember which letters I think it was like the letter W was somewhere else and M was someplace else and so you had to kind of stop for a moment and think about it. it was a little bit awkward at first even a little bit uncomfortable but you know I would imagine for people in France it's not a big deal it's like you're used to that no big deal you know, it's just like when I go to Mexico, there's a way in which they do things which may be different from the way we do it here. When you go to another country or when you're in another culture, people have different traditions. So you feel uncomfortable. Now you can translate uncomfortable into unnatural and unnatural into immoral. If you feel uncomfortable with something, you see it as unnatural. And if it's unnatural, it's ungodlike. And if it's ungodlike, it's immoral. I was on a train about a few months ago, and there was this couple in front of me. And they were hugging and kissing and playing and playful. You know. And to me, I thought, what well, is natural? Love. Love. It's a wonderful thing. You know. They seem like they were very caring people. But the couple was two guys. It was two men. Very young. They had to be like in their 20s. Maybe even late teens. And I get to thinking that, you know, other people would look at that and would be shocked and like, oh my God, it's so terrible. And it's so, you know, people feel uncomfortable. And I just think about that, how... You know, what Hume said, that basically, that's how we think about right and wrong. It really is based on our sentiments, not based on anything that we can reason out, but just on our feelings. And that comes from habits of thinking, habits of labeling things a certain way. We get in the habit of labeling certain things as being unnatural. You know, if you're in a relationship with somebody from a different race, that's unnatural from somebody else's perspective. Maybe from your perspective, you don't see it as unnatural. You know, it's just like being a person who's fat. 
you might be comfortable with how big you are. Other people might see that as they feel uncomfortable about it. You know, you may have certain medical conditions. Other people feel uncomfortable with it. And again, it gets down to uncomfortable, gets translated into unnatural, unnatural gets translated into ungodly, ungodly gets translated into sinful and evil and bad and wrong. And that's just the way people's minds work these ideals. And I just learned that sometimes, if I'm uncomfortable with something, maybe I should really take a look at it and ask myself, is this really something dangerous? Is it really a problem? Or is it just merely that I'm uncomfortable because I've been trained to think a certain way about something? And that's just pretty much what I wanted to say. You know, what is it to be wrong or evil or bad? or sinful. There's something to think about.